look at amphibious warfare. Um, it used to be, obviously, back in D-Day, where you would have um, uh, amphibious assault vehicles that would go ashore, and you would really have more of that um, assault uh, to the beach. But now we're really looking at what can we do with Marine Corps aviation? How can we use the Marine Corps assets that we have on board the ship to really um, pull uh, the fight inland? This ship, in particular, just gives us that tremendous capability to do that. The aviation-centric focus of the USS America includes the ability to house up to six Joint Strike Fighters, or F-35Bs. Also, its focus is on something called maneuver warfare, the ability to use an Osprey helicopter to transport amphibious forces behind enemy lines. The mission of uh, this type of uh, craft and what these Marines can do is reach far beyond uh, the capabilities of just like a basic land force. We can fly the Osprey 400 miles inland and drop off the infantry, drop off the support, our artillery, and we can operate in conjunction with other units and say, we do like a traditional beach landing that's all famous in Hollywood where everybody comes ashore, and then our unit goes around 400 miles behind the enemy unit and we push towards each other, moving around the enemy instead of confronting them directly where they might have bunkers and all kinds of fortifications on the beach. Instead of just strong arming through that, we'll fly over them or go around them and come around them where they're weakest or where they don't expect us. The internally transportable vehicle, or ITV, is engineered to drive on the back and fly on an Osprey. It's configured to carry a 50 caliber machine gun or 120 millimeter mortar. I drive these, I, uh, I operate that mortar, so we can put it in that Osprey. We can fly it behind enemy lines. We can survive for three days worth of supplies and do any kind of raids or assaults uh, that the infantry need, and we can support them. All from that aircraft, from this boat. It's made, the ITV is made to go in the Osprey. We can also external uh, loads as the 777 for the uh, Howard Sir, the 155, so we can bring those uh, larger pieces of equipment that can't fit inside to where they need to be on the battle space. But physically looking at the aircraft, everything designed for it is so it can fit on the ship. So the reason we have three blades per rotor head or the reason why the, the wings fold, that's all just to accommodate us for on ship great ship so far. It's the first time on, a, on this type of ship for myself, so I guess I get spoiled that it's brand new. The ship is configured to house up to 35 aircraft and 3,000 sailors and Marines, including a Marine Expeditionary Unit. After commissioning, the ship will go through a series of trials and tests and is slated to deploy as soon as 2016. We're going to go back to our home port of San Diego, California. We're going to give the crew a little bit of rest, um, and then we're going to start going through a post-shakedown availability where the ship is going to go through some trials and testing. We're going to do mod modifications to our flight deck so that we can support the Joint Strike Fighter um, with those future efforts to be able to fly that aircraft off. Um, the time of deployment is still up in the air right now. We're predicting that it's going to be early 2016 in the spring, but it really just depends how the testing goes with the Joint Strike Fighter and with all the modifications that they're doing right now. You hear about the CNO and you hear about the Commandant of the Marine Corps just really talking about that blue-green Navy Marine Corps integration. And I think that this platform is really getting it right. We're really just bringing together that Navy Marine Corps team and, and we're operating forward in the way that we're supposed to. Um, we're taking the Marines um, from that Afghanistan-Iraq warfare that we've been uh, experiencing over the last few years and we're, we're bringing them back to their amphibious roots um, on board. USS America. So um, I'm very, again, I'm very, very proud to be a part of this crew.